So recently I've been doing this thing where like I will try to start a vlog and at the beginning of the day it starts off really strong but then by the middle or end of the day it just sort of fizzles out into nothing. So I have like all of these bits and pieces of random vlogs from the past couple of weeks. So I wanted to still share some of that content with you because I think I've been able to work on some cool projects that I want to share. Um, so I just decided to throw together like three days of attempted vlogs into this one video just to share with you. So I hope you enjoy. Let's jump in. Hi everybody. So today I wanted to do like a vlog style video for you because I haven't done one in a while. If you're new here, I'm Zach. I'm a photographer and arts administrator based in Santa Barbara, California. What that means is basically I am the director of operations at Opera Santa Barbara, which is the professional regional opera company here in Santa Barbara. I'm also the photographer and DP there. So I take all the photos and make all the videos. Right now I'm headed to a video shoot with a friend of mine who's a tenor, who is recording an entire song cycle that he was commissioned to record for a theater company. So I'm going to do that. Let's head over to the studio to shoot this little video. All right, so here we are in the studio. I am shooting now on my EOS R6 with my EF 24 millimeter L lens. This is my wide shot. This is my sort of fallback shot where I have both the pianist and the singer in the frame. Now we move to our tight shot on the singer. This is on the C70 with the EF 50 millimeter L lens. Um, by the way, I'm shooting in the Rec. 709 profiles on both cameras in the standard on the EOS R6, and I'm shooting in Rec. 709 on the C70, which is just a flat Rec. 709 profile. Here is the Fujifilm X-T3 with the 16 to 55 2.8. This is also shooting in the standard profile, just for my C camera on the piano. All right, so I am home. I got my booch there because I'm parched. And as you saw, I was shooting on the X-T3, um, this was my piano cam, the X-T3, and I was also shooting on this guy, the EOS C70, here it is, here it is you guys, this is the C70, which is now in my possession, which is crazy that I have a cinema camera, I don't know what my life has become, but there it is, um, I was shooting with the 50 mil, oops, 50 mil, uh, L. This is just the control ring R adapter. So there's a crop factor because this is a Super 35. I don't have the really fancy C70 speed booster yet. So um, this is cropped in. These two, this was my close up on the singer. This was my close up on the piano. And then I'm shooting right now on the EOS R6, which was my wide shot capturing the whole scene. So like my baseline. And now I'm gonna import all of these files into my computer. The other thing I forgot to mention is that I was also recording with um, this. This is recording my audio. This is the Zoom H4n Pro. Um, and it has a really nice microphone on here. Um, really happy with the sound. This takes a just a uh, SD card. So this is where all my audio files are on this little 32 gig SD card. Now I'm going to drink this booch because I'm so thirsty. All right, so sorry if you can hear Shanoa on the phone in the other room, but that's who's talking. Um, so on my working drive, if you watch my photo workflow, it's very similar. I'm just going to make another folder since it's a new day and a new recording. So I'm going to title this folder the date with the year first, February and today's the 21st oh my god 21st already um this is going to be called video and it's going to be called matt and then i make folders for each of my cameras so i'll start with c70 and then r6 and then x t3 and then audio and then premiere i'm making a video you're making a video okay well katrina needs to see something can you hold this up for her it's called instax instax let me just show you this like freaking camera it's a kind of a beast so this is like my first 
foray into cinema camera land and so I'm still like sort of figuring it out but I mean this thing is a game changer first of all like for what it is like it is it's pretty compact I think for a cinema camera I mean it it's it's chunky for sure but it's not like enormous compared to my other cameras it's definitely bigger and bulkier but it's not like as heavy or as big as I was expecting it just has so many really great features being a dedicated video camera that I think it's a real game changer. Like the two XLR inputs, it also has built-in ND filter up to six stops, all sorts of function buttons for various different video um, features. It has full-size HDMI. It has a, a fan in here so that the camera doesn't overheat when you're shooting in 4K for long periods of time has two SD card slots here in the front and you re can record to both. And more than that, if you're recording in 4K, you can record a 4K file to one card and a proxy file to the other card, which is insane. Has really long battery life. It just, you know, the list goes on and on and on. I'm really loving it so far, but I haven't really had a chance to like give it enough time to actually talk about it from a place of knowledge where I would be comfortable actually making a video about it, but eventually I will make a video about it. Does anybody else drink kombucha or is it just me? And if you do, like, what kind do you like? I used to hate this flavor, but it's grown on me. By the way, I wanna show you guys our view right now because it's so pretty and these files from the C70 are taking a long time to import, so. Our window desperately needs to be cleaned. Hi everybody. So today I'm headed up to San Luis Obispo to shoot my first wedding video. <laughs> it's not an actual wedding. Um, there's this photographer from Palo Alto named Ian Ivey who uh, is producing this incredible shoot up in San Luis Obispo. And I'm headed up there with my friend Katrina who is going to be playing cello and I'm going to be shooting video. Um, so it's my first time like doing a sort of like wedding styled shoot. So I'm doing this for like a portfolio piece to try to get some some wedding work in the future. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. San Luis was an amazing place. If you've never been, it's awesome. Um, so I'm excited and I wanted to bring you along to show you a little bit of what we capture up there. So let's go check it out. So this shoot was really a great experience. Ian Ivy put together everything um, and made it a really, really beautiful experience. I had never shot on anything like this before. I've shot weddings before, but not video for weddings or a staged wedding kind of shoot. So this was really exciting. I had such a good time working with everybody involved, uh, both of the models, everybody at the venue. It was just a great experience all around. This was also a really good chance for me to test out the C70 because I went on this shoot pretty soon after I got the C70. So it was a nice chance to, to use it. What you're seeing here, everything on the C70 was recorded in C-Log 3 and graded with the Canon LUTs. And then I've also included a LUT from Giulio Trotti. This is the Positano film LUT, which I think works really nicely for this sort of look. I'm a thousand miles from coziness. Hey everybody. So today's a pretty busy day. We have a lot going on with the opera today. This morning I have a site visit down at the wharf because we were thinking about doing some performances down on Stern's Wharf or somewhere down by the waterfront. Then later on towards the evening, we have a promotional photo shoot for our upcoming production of Don Pasquale on the roof of the Moxie Museum, which is gonna be really cool. And then this evening, we have a performance. It's a string quartet in front of the theater here, the Granada. It is a full day of work. And I thought I would 
take you along and show you what it's like to work at an opera company in Santa Barbara. So here I am driving out on the wharf. You can actually park on Stern's Wharf in Santa Barbara. And we were meeting with the wharf people to talk about basically having a performance somewhere out on the wharf in the future. There are actually quite a bit of locations where you can have live music. It was just a really nice nine o'clock morning meeting out there on the wharf in Santa Barbara. Every mile on my mind leads to you. So here we are on the top of the Moxie Museum. The Moxie is a children's museum and they were so kind to let us shoot upstairs for our promotional photo shoot for Don Pasquale. So here's our costume designer with our two singers who are acting as our models. I was shooting with the USR6 on this shoot. And here I am, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, telling them something. I've been really into experimenting with motion in my images recently, and so I was having them move around a little bit. Um, and here we are just cutting out some of that sun with the diffuser, my friend and colleague Joyce with the diffuser there. And here are some of the shots that we got. So I think that is going to wrap it up for this vlog video. Let me know what you think. If you enjoy this video, if you want to see more like this, I'd love to continue making them for you. If you're new here, say hi down in the comments. Consider subscribing. I'd love to see you in the next video. Thank you, as always, for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Love is